Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley. You're watching Marley's Inspiration. Today is a dream. I just woke up from this dream and I feel strongly that I need to issue the warning. Okay, so in this dream, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to talk up until I'm just going to go ahead and get into the dream. In this dream, I was on a coastline and I was around people and all of a sudden there was a warning that was issued saying tsunami is coming tsunami is coming well we issued the warning there is a tsunami coming there is a tsunami coming we started running to a t higher ground we ran to a cliff a really high cliff it was really high and we issued the warning before we ran to the cliff telling people on the beach, hey, there's a tsunami coming. There's a tsunami coming. They did not want to listen. They did not want to heed the warning. They did not want to listen. They did not believe me because this particular coastline had never been touched by a tsunami. So it was foreign to them. They've never seen one. So they just said, well, it'll be okay, you know, it'll probably just be a little wave. So we get to higher ground, me and some other people, we get to higher ground. And as I'm looking out across the distance, I see this really, really tall wave wall. And it was roaring, y'all. It was coming fast. It was roaring. And it was a 200 foot tall wave wall 200 foot tall wave wall and it was coming in quick and we once again we said tsunami's coming tsunami is coming and they still did not listen they did not listen until they saw it with their own eyes and by then it was too late it was too late they saw it they saw how big it was they saw how fast it was coming they had seconds they had seconds and this wall came in and they were running with fear they were scared they were looking for safety they couldn't find safety it was too late the wave came in and it and I was standing up on this cliff and I was watching this. I'm going to get emotional. I was watching this, y'all. I was watching this. I was taken to safety and these people had a chance to go to safety with us, but they did not listen. They did not listen. And it was too late because the safety had already come. We had already gotten to high ground. And these people were left. They were left on the beach. They were left to deal with this giant wave. You do know that the waves represents God's wrath. I shared this dream with two people today. Actually, three, but two told me what it meant. The first one that I shared it with said that it looked like the days of Noah. How they did not believe that the flood was coming until it was too late. And Noah got on the ark and they were taken away. And then another person said that that was God's judgment that was coming in. And I was taken in the rapture and I was looking down seeing it happen. We don't have that much time, y'all. We don't. I'm warning and I'm warning and I'm warning and I'm warning that there's danger coming. And no one is listening. No one is listening. Please heed the sound of my voice. Turn to God now. Do it this minute. Do it this minute. Don't wait. Don't wait. We don't have that much time left. I'm telling you, we don't. It grieves my heart to know that there were so many that had the warning 
and they chose to do what they wanted to do, and they did not heed the warning. They did not go to higher ground. You are given a warning. You are given a chance to turn to Jesus. But God's wrath is coming. He has not called his children to wrath. He will soon call us off of this earth. And he will allow the earth to go into the greatest tribulation that the world has ever seen. The hour of testing. God said he will keep you from the hour of testing. But you have to trust him. You have to turn your life over to him. You have to honor him. You have to follow the plan of salvation. Acts 2.38 Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, and he will give you the gift of his, of his Holy Spirit. All you have to do is ask. That's all you have to do is ask. I know many are going to come against the plan of salvation, but this is what God showed me a long time ago, and I will forever declare that that is how you are saved. Once you receive His Spirit, once you are filled with His Spirit, then you will begin to start developing faith and you will have the fruits of the Spirit that come with the infilling of the Holy Spirit when you are baptized with His Holy Spirit. We don't have that much time left, y'all. Stay as close to God as you can. Read your word daily. Stay in His presence. Seek Him daily. The, we, we don't have that much time left. We don't. As in the days of Noah, and it's here, it's here. I just want you to know it is here. And please, please seek God while you still can because we are not promised tomorrow. We are not promised the next minute. We are not promised the next hour. And it would really, really be hard for you once the rapture happens to know that you were given the warning, but you did not accept it. That you just said, I'll do it tomorrow. Don't wait. Don't wait. Do it today. Jesus is coming. And he is going to call us off of this earth. And you are going to go through the worst of the worst of the worst that you've ever went through in your entire life. And you don't want to be here. You want to be under God's love. You do not want to be under his wrath. You do not want to be under his wrath. Because it's going to be such a terrible time. We are just waiting on the Antichrist to be revealed. Nothing else has to happen for the rapture to happen. I want you to know God is at the door. Behold, I'm at the door. I knock. He who opens, I will come in and sup with him. Remember that scripture? He's at the door knocking. Are you going to let him in? I love you all, and I, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.